Good evening. It is ten past seven on Saturday, the twelfth of September, and it is time for today. How are you? Are you alright? Are you good? I'm good. I've had a good day. Um, today I went to get this made to a shorter bar. So it's now sitting much nicer. Um, when my mouth is closed you can see it whereas before it was sort of slightly under my lip. Yes? No, play in your room please. Um, yeah, it was slightly under the lip and um, it was bugging the fuck out of me. And I also, I also was convinced it was wonky, but now it's been placed and uh, I'm really, really pleased with it. And I also had that side of my nostril done today and I've already banged it once. So, <laughs> yeah, but there we go. I can't wait to put, because this looked so nice when I had lipstick on yesterday that um, I'm really, really, really looking forward to seeing what it all looks like when I'm made up and cozy. So, yeah. So that was that. Nice long walk out and about and in the sunshine I did some more cleaning down the road. We've had a builder in down the road as well. So yeah it was all go go go. Didn't do any reading eggs yesterday. I did a very very brief check on my hair but that was about it. Uh, Daryl did his bedroom. I edited and uploaded today in my boo journal. I go and have booze have chips uh, and then my usual nighttime routine went to bed really late as you guys know the um, video I uploaded yesterday or you know for Friday I didn't actually record until gone midnight <laughs> or, or near enough on midnight but yeah God, by the time I've done everything gone to bed I was so let's see, we did the loo, the laundry, um, and that was about it really, to be, to, to be totally 100% honest with you, I not any of that, so let's change the pen. Back is absolutely killing me, went out for a really really nice walk, but I'm so out of practice where I've been at home and stepping at home that um, I'm just not used to walking anymore, it's, it's weird. You know and i feel like i feel awful for it you know it's obvious that the stepping at home is not giving me the exercise that i need so i need to get out and walk more now let's see i did my teeth this morning another pale color look i look my makeup we didn't do reading eggs i haven't yet checked my jeds I have gone out and looked at the garden and I've made plans to get out there and do something about it tomorrow. I am currently filming today in my boo journal. I haven't knit on the shawl. So far I haven't had caffeine but I'm going to not fill that in until tomorrow because, you know, I haven't had booze. I've had chips. Um, yeah, that's the kind of thing I want to feel it because it's like, you know, when late at night it'll be like, mm, do I fancy an she drink? <laughs> Okay, so I want to put up New Week 38 on my Instagram. Right. I didn't pull a card this morning. I, can, I just didn't have time. I got up and then had to race down the road because we had a builder come in down at the big house. Um, so today was quite a good day. Really, my piercer really, really didn't want to um, change my bar my vertical libret because the piercing itself is only like a week and a bit old but due to the fact that I absolutely promised I would not hold her accountable um, and I also said to her you know look um, I've had no swelling whatsoever I've got a very small lump where because it took two goes to get it in the right place where the first exit point was because it went in so big as you can see it went in there and then come out through the lip but we pierced it too far back the first time so I've got a small lump there but that's because it's healing so yeah I went in and I was like yeah I want you to put a smaller bar in and she was like no you're supposed to wait like at least three to six weeks and I was like yes I know that but it's pissing me off and quite frankly if you don't do it I'm going to 
and she was like oh no 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 so, and then at first she was like I'll give you the jewellery and you can do it and I was like no and I was like come on I said you can do it I won't hold you I promise I won't hold you responsible and so she was like oh no and all this lot and I was like yeah come on let's change it <laughs> I said I'd rather you did it because you've got the tools in case you know say like I get it out and fuck it up or something you've got all the equipment here and um you know normally I get Callie to change my jewellery but uh you know where Callie's suffering from nausea quite a lot at the moment <laughs> I uh didn't want to sort of say to her could you hear my lips <laughs> could you tell I think she'd have freaked out so um right I need yeah I've got very little sleep look oh my god three hours and 45 minutes that's ridiculous isn't it so I went to sleep at two and then got up at quarter past seven. How does that work out at three hours and 45 minutes then? Oh, because it thinks I had a big gap right in the middle. I didn't, so I certainly was not awake from quarter past three to quarter past four. I stole my fucking head off. And it was a good sleep. And yeah, I went off this morning, I was like, oh my God, I don't want to get up. Um, so yeah, so I took, I talked her into it basically. She, she changed the bar out, but, um, I know my body. I'm quite experienced at having piercings. I've been having things on my body punched full of holes for 30 odd years now. And, um, I'm well aware of what happens to my body and how my body reacts to piercings if you're not i do not recommend you get a bar change that for a smaller one until a proper piercer not your mate who does it like you know occasionally but a proper reputable piercer says you should have it done because even though like i say it didn't swell still hurt having it done today that hurt um she did it she did a brilliant job she um put a cannula when they pierce they they push the needle through and then they leave a cannula tube in its place removes the needle and then the cannula is there to allow you to put the jewelry in so what she did was she actually put a cannula around the jewelry removed the jewelry and then put the shorter bar in pardon me hiccup um so she did it all properly do you know what i mean but it is not something I would recommend doing. It did hurt because I still have bruising on the entry and the exit site of this particular piercing. Okay. So yeah, she was like, please, please make sure you don't swell. And if it swells, you know, you'll have to take it out and all that. And I said, yeah, I'm well aware of that. And, but I've had absolutely no swelling. It, it was done six hours ago and it's been absolutely fun. Just eating my dinner. It was so much easier with a smaller bar in. And it, immediately it felt great and it sat so much better. Yeah. Because I was really sort of beginning to think, oh my God, I'm going to have to go in and say to her, it's too far back, it's too far over to the right and all that lot. But as soon as she put that smaller bar in, I was like, oh, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased. But my nose now hurts like a son of a bit because I caught it earlier and I scratched my nose for, stupidly, believe it or not, forgetting that it was there, the piercing was there. Okay, so the loo and the laundry were done this morning. I did not vacuum downstairs because I've been cleaning down the road again. But I'm planning on doing um, some work tomorrow in the house to get it all nice and clean. Uh, that would come out. Uh, April's on in a bit. I'm hoping I can get to watch her, but Daryl's still awake, so it really does depend. Because um, I've got a billion and one things that I need to get done. Some of it I will get to show you, and some of it I won't. Um, Oh, at some point, I've got these to play with. That's very blue all of a sudden on my screen, isn't it? What's caused that? Backlight compensation's been adjusted. That's a bit better. I apologise that that has been a bit dark. I wondered why it was a bit dark. But um, yeah, Paper Mania metallic pens, which I wish I'd had when I was doing the weekly setup because they look like a bit chunkier. 
Anyway. Anyway. Right. We are on to the Faber Castell pages, boys and girls. Now, I am going to flip that out a bit because if I write on the back of here, it, the paint from here will imprint on this card and I don't want that to happen. Now. Oh, I also bought a new alpha stamp. Really love the size of those. Um, I got these in the range, so yeah. Quite looking forward to having to play with them. Okay, so anyway, um, the dog's having a mad five minutes. Don't mess it up! She's, she's pulling her thingy out of her bed. She's got this thing where she gets in her bed and she rocks at it all until she's fucking pulled it all out and made a right fucking mess. Normally she just does it to the blanket and she, now she's in there doing it to the actual bottom part of the bed. Okay, so this is yesterday's page. So I'm going to put in 11. Now I can immediately tell you this is maybe not quite as dark on the gelatos as what the... Um, as what it would be on a watercolour but that's you know fair enough right now we need I've got no idea if my fountain pen will work or anything like that 11 was saw I love the saw films do you want to play a game love those films I think they're fucking brilliant so we want saw I'm going to attempt that with my calligraphy pen little thingy just make sure me I hope this works on the fucking gelato paper come on wake up I have to dink it in fucking water every time that wrote on there beautifully it glided right across really nicely really really nicely okay so saw was that one <sighs> An owl. Oh, fucking hell, Amy. An owl. I was telling Callie about how I uh, I was finding this uh, quite a challenge. Oh god, that looks more like a bat, doesn't it? Now, you're all going to be sitting there going, what the fuck is that? <laughs> this is based off of a cushion that I made for Callie. It was a little owly cushion and um, that's pretty much the shape of it actually. I never said they would be good drawings. Um, and umbrella. Ella, Ella. Quite pleased with that. Oh, the next quote is a huge one. I think I'll do that over there and then if I need to I can skip a page okay right um I'm gonna do a quick bit of journaling and then we will uh, go from there it's one of these tool tool TUL pens that Jolyn sent me and journal with that for uh, yesterday. Okay, as I'm writing, it is starting to sort of hiccup up a little bit. So, yeah. I don't know how Dolly does it then because my pens just fade. So I think I might ask her. I'm wondering if I didn't wipe enough of the stuff off yeah because you can see like here it's really really dark and then it fades quite a bit down here this card that my friend sent me it's horrible nothing wants to stick to it I know it's under a little bit of strain in the journal but really okay so um I think I want to try the gelatos again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go back and watch that video and then I'm gonna 
come back here and see what I did wrong. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Ah, right, thankfully I didn't have to watch the entire video. Uh, in, within the first five minutes, Dolly says <laughs> the metallic shimmery ones are quite hard to write over. And I think that's what the trouble is. I used mostly iridescence on these, which is what explains why the yellow here was okay to write on. But down here, I was having trouble. So we are going to have... I mean, somebody else said they didn't. They thought it was their Don Ray River paper because um, I, I couldn't really wipe hard with it. And I'm like, love, you should see the amount of paper I chuck at my Tom... Uh, amount of water I chuck at my Tom Ray River paper. But yeah. So I'm going to have another go. Right. But I'm not going to use my shiny ones. So, like the iridescence ones, I won't use. So, Galaxy, I can't use. That's a real bummer because Joe Lynn's just sent me recently a new box of iridescence. But they all have shine in them, don't they? Do they? Are they shiny? Like sparkly? Okay. So. My little box is now divided quite neatly. Everything from here that you can see, I think, are matte. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have a go. I'm going to do another double page, right? So we've got a double spread to uh, to, to look at. So, what colours shall we use? I want some really, really bright... Yeah, let's, let's, let's go really fucking bright, shall we? So we are going to use orange soda. Because you don't, you don't get much brighter than orange for soda, do you? Wow. Okay, so we put that there. I'm reading out the colours, so if I need to come back and check why this didn't work, I can. I am going to put a little bit of a darker one in there. This is cinnamon. Let's put that down in that corner. And then blood orange. That should be a nice uh, mix between the two. Oh yeah, that's lovely. Look at that. So what did I, what did I say we had? Right, so that's blood orange, cinnamon and um, orange soda. Should we go yellow? Oh, hang on, we've got another orangey one here. Oh, this is supernova. This is one of the space ones, which means it's probably, yeah, I can see the shine on that. Okay, so that's supernova that has to go over into the shiny section. Okay, so then let's try, this is butterscotch. This is an older style one, which I picked up in a local shop um who tried to tell me that um you know these were going out of um you know they weren't going to get any more because they weren't available anymore and i was like uh yes they fucking are uh, this is banana i haven't actually used this one of course this does mean that because i'm about to get this page all wet i can't do today's journaling but the Tom Mary River paper dried really, really fast, so I reckon I could probably do the other side because it's the other side of this that I need to journal. Okay, so this is banana. Let's try that. Oh, look at that. That is fucking banana colour. It's colour of banana skin. Look at that. Wow. Um, let's go. That one looks like a fucking tennis ball. That starburst, which tells me that's probably shiny being as all the other space ones have been so far. So this one, which is a limon cello. <laughs> I'm gonna put down here, that is mega, mega bright. And I need a nice color to sort of go there. Uh, do you know what, I'm gonna put passion fruit there. I know it's totally doesn't match, but 
Why the fuck not, eh? I'm probably going to really regret just splashing all these down because I'm not going to remember what colour was what. Okay, so now we want a baby wipe. Cross your fingers, you guys, that this works better than what it did last time, okay? I'm going to put that in there just to protect below it. hard to do when you've got long nails okay right I hope this doesn't damage Romeo's photo I shouldn't have stuck it in yet should I never mind okay so I'm not going to move it I'm going to sort of, oh, I might do it actually because it's, oh yeah, blending it lovely that way, look. Try and get a real... Trying to do it so that the scribbles here don't match, you know, that you can't see them. Right, I'm going to use a different section for the yellow because obviously I don't want to muddy muddy it. Can't please how that looks though. Continue on to the next page. Right in the nooks and crannies. Blue. Wow, look at that yellow. This is the banana, isn't it? Look at it. Wow. You guys can see this. Right, I'm gonna use a different colour because I really want that bright, bright ass yellow. Which does fade a bit as you blend it in. Which I suppose I should have expected. So you know what? Limoncello on it, and I've got some more on to really make it stand out.
Okay. Now what you have to do is sort of find a clean bit of the wipe. And just wipe the excess off, wasn't it? So quite a lot comes off if you scrub really hard. Which I don't really, really want that to happen. I want to keep quite a lot of the colour. So you have to be careful how much you press, otherwise you could lose, you know, some of your colour. Okay, so that's, I mean, look, this is how much, you know, the wipe is filthy afterwards, all right? Now I did not use any metallic ones from the look of things, so hopefully I'll be able to write on this come morning. Um, yeah, oh, don't scratch, don't scratch. I keep wanting to scratch my nose because it's slightly irritated from the piercing. I did that earlier and scratched the actual piercing. Oh, no, I need that, don't I? Right. Um, I'm going to leave this to dry a little bit and then um, we'll see if I can get on with uh, journaling on that side. Thankfully Romeo's picture hasn't been affected but yeah you can see the absolute shimmer in that obviously compared to that. So that's I think is what the issue is. I used a shimmer. I use shimmery ones because I'm a, I'm a fucking magpie and I like all the shimmery stuff. Okay, I'm going to be back in a little while. I'm going to leave these to dry for a few hours. Or I might... I don't know if I'm going to leave it tonight or not. I think these are going to be dry in a very short time. So I think I'll be back in a minute to do the rest of today's challenge. Okay, see you in a bit. Welcome back. Um, yes, it's, it's been, what, probably about half an hour or so. And due to the wonders of Tommy Rose paper, this is dried. I haven't touched it, I left it, and basically I edited what you've just watched, which, you know, I've now managed to cut down to just under half an hour. Um, it was nearly an hour's worth of footage. So that's quite good. Um, I did not hyperlapse all of the rubbing with the, um, the, with the wet wipe so that you could actually see, so that you didn't, you know, you, you got an idea of how long it actually took me to do and all that lot. But yeah, this is now dried and it looks all right. Um, it's not coming off on my hands, which is good. This doesn't look rigid and horrible like the last page did. Um, yeah, so um, I got a little bit yellow, but that was from the actual uh, wiping process. So I now need to do today's page. Um, my, I got a, a new hair tie in the post, and he sent you some um, stickers, which I thought were really, really nice. I'm really pleased with these. So I've printed up, I'm going to print up a photo. I thought if it was going to be a long one, I might as well fill up the page. finding my brush light ring is getting a bit better. I'm getting a bit more like willing to to flourish, you know. I want to stamp Romeo there and I'm going to use my new stamps to do it. Um, so let's turn this off. Brand new, I haven't even opened the package. <laughs> also be interested to see how well um, stamps take to this. Uh, and those stickers there. Okay. apart 
They haven't been separated. Oh, you're having a laugh. Why would they not? Okay. Why would they not fucking cut them? I thought they looked like they were one, one big band of... They tend to explode though, as you pull them, they tend to separate, which is great, but it leaves a hell of a lot of plastic surrounding each letter. So I'm going to have to trim them down, because otherwise that's just going to get really annoying. I'm going to use my archive ink because that is the best one for stamping, quite frankly. I'd be interested to see whether it goes through. Um, because um, it doesn't on watercolour. I'll have to stamp the last O separately because you only get one of each letter. Nice. Yeah, I like the... I like... I love the typeset font, you guys know that. But I would want the letters a little bit closer together, but, you know, that's just... Uh, if you want them closer together, you have to stunt them individually, unfortunately. Okay, let's quickly just do the O again. He's my number one fan. <laughs> right, so I will sort the rest of those stamps out later, split them so that I don't have to fart ass around with them next time I'm... Uh, doing this. I've got to wait for this bloody ink to dry. I'm going to test this now. I'm not going to wait. We will see how it holds up. Right, so... Uh, da, 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 da. That's what I want. It is the 12th today. The pit artist pen had no issues with it. Anything actually seems to have helped with the juicy problem that I've been having with these lately. Okay, so um, let's see what are the challenges. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to put this photo in before I start writing anything. That's my hair with my new tog locks, as it's called. <laughs> Um, there's photos up on Instagram, by the way. Okay, so, um, that pen. Let's have a look, shall we? I'm pissed off with that because my writing got smaller as I went. Oh, it's because of writing in this book. That's what it is. I've only got, yeah, a few more to do and then we're done. I know it's, it's like, well, you know, you don't have to do it. Yeah, I know that, but I'm anal and I want to finish the book. Right. <laughs> there you go. That's, that wasn't brilliant, but it'll do. It'll do. I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling on here. I want to see how pens have behaved. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my Simply Gilded pen and see how well this works. Now I'm going to put my little board under here. It started out right, but I'm having trouble now down towards the bottom. And I don't know whether it's a build up or because there doesn't seem to be any on the pen. Okay, um, it was easier on the mat than it was on the shimmery. As you can see, I've got a lot more written before I started having any trouble. I think the trouble I did have was purely down to A, I didn't wait for it to dry um, completely. You know, if I'd left it until tomorrow, it might have been better. So we're going to test that theory tomorrow because we've still got this page to do. Um, I'm 
going to do another couple of pages of this, I think. Um, I might do them tonight, actually, and then I've got a couple of pages to dry off. And then I can decide whether this is something I want to continue doing in my next journal. So we'll have to see. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm exhausted now. I haven't this took a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I started this about half past seven and it's now ten past nine. So, yeah. There we go. Right. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, feedback, please do leave it all down below. If there's anything you want me to have a go at, you know, any challenges you want me to do, anything you wish me to review, chuck it down below. Provided it's not going to cost, like, tons of money, on down. Um, a thumbs up would really, really, really be appreciated. I really, really would appreciate it. And uh, if you click the book down in the corner, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that then appears down below, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate those of you that come and watch my channel, those of you that watch regularly, those of you that comment regularly, you are keeping my channel buzzing along really, really nicely. And I'm loving every minute of it. Um, have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in Sunday's edition of Today in My Boo Journal. Take these guys.